What's going on guys? This is Troy out in Colorado. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the hardware that comes on water-fed poles. The clamping systems. In my opinion, as everybody knows, most of the carbon fiber comes from the same place, but in my opinion, what makes the real difference is the hardware that's on the poles. The ease of operation, the reliability of it, the weight, how easy they are to open and close, how well they function as far as allowing pole spin to happen. But before we begin this video, I'm gonna have me a beverage. And I hope you have a beverage too. Today's beverage is brought to you by Bud Light, Arrow, and your friends at Skoll. So, cheers to you guys. So let's talk about water-fed clamps. Right here you have an ABC pole. This is a triple crown, 25 foot pole. These were our first purchases from ABC. We didn't know any better. Not to knock ABC, but I mean, they pretty much go as cheap as they can go. The poles are uh, rather heavy as far as uh, carbon fiber goes. And the clamping systems are very unreliable. As you can see, I mean, they're hard to get to stay closed. You have to have an Allen key to tighten them with, an Allen wrench. So when you're out in the field, I mean, who wants to carry an Allen wrench around with them? It makes it really difficult to tighten your poles up. Also, the sections spin. I can't do it with one hand, but, oh, fuck, I might be able to. They spin, so when you're trying to put pressure down on your brush, the, the sections will spin, and you won't be able to get good pressure on your poles. The next pole I want to talk about is the older Zero Pro models with the glued on clamps. Good pole, shitty clamp system. Not really shitty, the clamp systems worked great, but the problem is, is after extended use, sometimes the clamps would come apart. They would uh, come unglued, and it's a really easy fix. I actually have a couple videos on my YouTube repairing the number one and the number two clamp section. Um, good poles, clamp systems, they operate really easy with your thumb. You can open them up with one finger, close them with one finger. They're easy to tighten. And all, all, uh, when the pole's in operation and you tighten the clamps up, the very little pole spin. Great pole, in my opinion. Very good entry-level pole. The new Zero Pro line comes with these wicked-ass new clamps. The next pole we'll talk about is Tucker. This is the Tucker 3K60. This is their, apparently their older model, I guess, when they were just um, cosmetically making them, I guess. Um, we bought this pole because we do a lot of high-rise stuff or mid-rise stuff. When we very first got into it, we've only been in the window cleaning industry three years. When we bought this pole, it was for, we had uh, several jobs that were four and five stories, and we still use this pole to this day. This pole gets us by, makes us quite a bit of money, actually. Um, we love the Tucker brand. They make the absolute best brushes in the world. I stand by that. I've got many, many videos discussing that. The clamp systems on this pole, I will have to say, I'm not a big fan of. They are extremely hard to open and close. Also, the uh, clamps are made out of a metal. I think it's aluminum. Not sure. It's yeah, it's aluminum. They're pretty heavy. Um, any pole that you're, I will say this, you know, when you're working at heights 50 feet and above, I don't care what pole you're using, you're gonna have a noodle effect. It is gonna have some bend in it because of, it's just the law of physics, you know? The downside about that though is the weight that the aluminum adds, it, it really, it's really noticeable when your pole's extended and you have to bend forward and pull backward or you're moving up and down with your pole. This pole just happens to have an extraordinary amount of flex but we're not talking about pole flex today, we're talking about the hardware on it. The one thing I do love about the Tucker clamp system is it's rock solid. I mean, you can beat the piss out of these Tucker poles. I mean, you can see it, my employees, this pole's been dropped from 60 foot twice, fully extended with an 18 inch brush. And I'll tell you this, even the damn Tucker brush didn't break. Talk about made in America toughness. Awesome, Tucker brand is, it's great guys. They make awesome, awesome stuff. However, I do think that this was uh, 
bad design in the clamping system. I think that aluminum, especially at 60 feet, just not, not a good idea. And also as far as how hard these clamps are to open and close. The other thing is, is it's similar to the triple crown pole. To adjust your clamp systems, you have to have an Allen key on you. And let's face it, who carries an Allen key out in the field with them? Let's talk about the new Zero Line, their clamping systems. I do see it on some other poles. Just as smooth and flawless as you could ask for. Open, close with one thumb, one finger. Sorry, they're rolling around. It's really hard to operate a camera with one hand. Just open and close with one hand. And the cool part about these clamps is, let me open this one fully, you can adjust it out in the, on the, in the field on the fly. All you do is simply turn this knob clockwise to tighten it, counterclockwise to loosen it up. And when these clamps are tight all the way, fully tight, what I like to look for is when your clamp is open all the way, there should be very little of a gap right here. The smaller that gap, it is going to be a little harder to close your clamp, but that completely eliminates any pole spin. The new Zero line has really thought about the end user in the manufacturing process, in my opinion at least. They've really taken to heart what people want out in the field, ease of use, durability, the repair aspect, having to tighten and change your clamping systems. So. Here's a little bit about some clamping systems. Um, I also know that Gardner's got a patented clamping system that's really, really cool, really awesome. The other thing with the Zero Line is that they've got these extensions. I'm, I mean, look at this thing. This thing's like, feels like about a fucking half a pound, three quarters of a pound. This is 10 foot of high modulus, 3K wrapped carbon fiber. This extension will fit on any of the new line, the Pro or the Micro. And it'll allow you to get, I mean, hypothetically, you could go as high as you wanted to. You could go 100 foot if you wanted to. You know, I don't recommend you do any water fed from 100 foot. I think really, honestly, beyond 70 feet, you need to get a lift. It's just not going to provide a thorough clean on the glass. But there's a look at some of the clamping systems. I've got a truck out right now that's got um, another Tucker pole in it, our Tucker CF45, and it's got their plastic clamping systems. They're the exact same as this. They're just plastic. Really, really durable. Not as heavy, though. Um, there you go. There's some uh, different clamping systems, different hardware on different poles. And hopefully, this will help you in making your decision when you're purchasing your next water-fed pole. And again, this video was brought to you by the Denver Broncos and Bud Light. Scratch that. I can't say the Denver Broncos. But have a great day, guys.